when we were designing the house, we were considering the duality of design between form and function. My family has three kids. For us to have a design where we know that we liked it clean and minimal and simplistic, but at the same time creating a design aesthetic that was comfortable for children to navigate around. Hi, my name is Jonathan and I work in a logistics company leading up their partnerships and programs. We've been living here for about two and a half years. The unit size is approximately 1160 square feet. This house is located at Dawson. For a five-room flat, one of the things that we did was to remove one of the bedrooms so that we had a bigger living room space. And this enabled the children to cycle around the house. Hey there, thanks for watching today's episode and before we go on, I'd like to share with you more about Bolia, a Danish design and lifestyle brand. We visited their first flagship store here in Asia and stepping in, you'll immediately notice how nature plays a huge influence to the space. From the use of natural materials, earthy tones, all the way down to the crafted detailing. And so you can't help but find yourself immersing in the ambiance as you explore beautiful new interpretations of Scandinavian design. The Design Atelier at every Bolia store around the world is a creative space that is designed for inspiration, individuality and fun. Here you're invited to create different mood boards and all the customization possibilities with their furniture fabrics, leather and material samples. And on to the second floor, here is where you'll find a curation of other home essentials. We've got the outdoor collection, lighting and other lifestyle products. Apart from craftsmanship, you'll also get to experience Bolia's strong commitment to sustainability. So all of their products are made using eco-friendly, responsibly sourced materials and FSC certified wood. And to show their commitment to quality, every product also comes with a 10-year warranty. To experience Bolia, you can visit this showroom at 215 Henderson Road or click the link in the description box below. Alright, now let's get back to the video. I really like the Queenstown area. For one, I grew up at Queenstown when I was a young kid, and so coming back to Queenstown felt like a homecoming of sorts. I really like the fact that this house was along the tree line of the trees. They built the estate around the trees that have been here for many years. Just being in the mix of all of that was really a great appeal for my family. So when we approached the house initially, we really had this very canvas-like approach where we kept everything clean, white, minimal. Over time, we realised that our children really wanted to make a statement in their home. They left toys out, even though we used to tell them to keep it, but we appreciated the fact that they were making a statement in this home as well. We liked the idea that things were functional, clean, easy reach, things are modular. When we needed to shift things around, if we hosted bigger groups, we could shift the sofa aside. What we had two and a half years ago was a house we purchased, but two and a half years in, it feels like a home where everybody has contributed to how this house looked. When you first enter the house, you would see that we lowered the ceiling of the entryway and then you would be greeted by a sudden expansion of space. And that was what we wanted to have us as a family feel when we enter the home, but at the same time for our guests who come in. When one comes into the living room, you would realise that there is actually a lot of floor space and we kept a lot of the furniture and the things around it as minimal as possible. We didn't like the idea of where we built the entire design centred around a television, as a lot of homes might do. But we felt like we wanted a television that was movable, flexible, that can be moved around. This then allowed our children to pick a particular corner to play in. I think just this general idea of where we kept the space modular, open and flexible was part of our design intent of the house. We liked the dining room the way it was because from a design perspective, it was in the corner, it felt more intimate. The ceiling of the dining room was also lowered intentionally and so that it felt like a very private and intimate space where conversations happen. With the dining table, we really felt like we wanted to add some variety to a house that already had grey and wood. And so we added a table that was elliptical in shape, added a little bit of curvature to the house that was already very defined by straight and clean lines. One of the things that we realised that we didn't intentionally do was our children ended up figuring out how they wanted to put some colour into the space. Pasting photographs and painting or drawing, we allowed it to happen because it added life and personality into a home that we designed. 
for the kitchen, it was one of those spaces that we really wanted to put more attention to, given that it is the heart of the house. While still keeping the design intent of straight lines, we wanted to make sure that there was enough cabinet space for us to put our items. We still kept with the white, clean lines with the backsplash of the kitchen. We made sure that there was an element of the kitchen counter in a very granite raw material, almost like a statement piece. We just created a very open invitation for people to gather around the kitchen counter, have a conversation. That was something that we really considered for the kitchen area. One of the problems that we had was we knew that we were going to accumulate a lot of things. We felt like we wanted to create enough storage, yet at the same time not being exposed. We felt, why don't we build an entire wall of cabinets? There was an opportunity for us to create a hidden door that separated the living room from the bedrooms. to create differentiation between the bedroom and the living room. One of the things that we did was to enclose the area, and this created a very natural passageway into the bedrooms and into the toilets. We liked the idea that it was a safe refuge and haven for us to take night. For the bedrooms, we really wanted to create this concept of usable space, even allowing the floors to be a space where our children could sit in but yet at the same time for them to roll into bed when they had to. In our bedrooms, we lowered everything, including the master bedroom. Everything was on the platform. The children's rooms, the beds are tummy mat. And this allowed a concept of where the bed and the floor was a seamless space and they were able to play. And so this idea allowed them to play in the bedrooms, but not necessarily injure themselves while falling off the bed. As part of the toilet design, we increased the shower area so that it was more functional for us to accommodate showering our children. Part of increasing that shower area, we realised that we needed to do two things. One, we changed the door of the toilets to a sliding door so it optimised space. But at the same time, we custom made our sink area so that it was also more usable with a very minimal space provided for us. Living here for approximately two and a half years, we really like this space, given that it had a lot of natural light. We like the space that we overlooked the playground and my kids are older now that they feel comfortable to go back into the house, but knowing that we can still see them. We like this fact that when we build it from a very minimal and clean perspective at the start, it allowed for an open canvas for our children to play with. Thanks for staying till the end. If you'd like to connect with the designer of this home, visit the link in the description below and find out how you can receive a complimentary $500 Dexto voucher.